welcome back to my channel if you clicked on today's video then you already know what today is today is foundation friday if you're new to my channel foundation fridays when i try out a random foundation one that's been out for a while it's pretty much new to me and i give my first impression thoughts and i try to do it all under five minutes so you'll see me talk about the foundation for a little bit apply it show y'all what it looks like once i'm finished and then i'll give y'all my thoughts and that is pretty much what foundation friday is and today for foundation friday i will be trying out the bobby brown new finish tinted moisturizer um i believe this was like reformulated i believe last year i always wanted to try it i just never did and i thought now it would be perfect to try it out for foundation friday this is what the packaging looks like also this is available in nine shades i was unsure of what shade to get so i tried to do like a little research right quick on YouTube and maybe find somebody who was close to my complexion who probably reviewed this and I didn't find any reviews of this skin tint from anyone who was my complexion or darker or around my complexion so that's another reason why I wanted to try this out for foundation fry. A little bit about the skin tint also I picked mine up from Ulta I don't know why this isn't available at Sephora, but I did find this at Alton. I know it is available at Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom and probably other retailers, but for some reason it is not at Sephora. But anyway, $48. It's available in nine shades. It is super lightweight. It corrects redness. It is very hydrating. It gives you a glowy finish. Okay, y'all, this is what Rich looks like swatched on my chest. It looks like it might work. Primer, I will be using the Dior Skin Veil Primer. I've really been liking this a lot and this also has SPF 30 in it as well. I'm back with this skin tint on and this is what my face looks like so far I really like it I love the finish I feel like I have a nice natural look um, it's definitely not too hydrating so if you're someone with oily skin like myself and you typically like to stay away from products that says hydrating this is not that at all I feel like I have a nice natural finish to my face not glowy at all well I don't feel like it looks too glowy as of right now also I feel like rich deep was the perfect shade I'm so glad again I think I mentioned this earlier I did go in store and swatch him and I do feel like the shade that uh, I think it was deep definitely would have been too light well not too light because skin tints tend to go on a little light and then once you blend them out they look a little bit better but I do feel like rich was the perfect shade also this is definitely a skin tint there's not much coverage you know how you buy some skin tints and they kind of give you a medium coverage or like medium you could possibly build it up to full this has super light coverage it barely covered up any of the dark marks on the side of my face so if you want a little more coverage with your skin tint I don't think you would like this at all it sells for $48 I do feel like you should get a little more coverage but then again it is a skin tint so really don't expect a lot of coverage this is one of those your skin but better something you just want to throw on right quick if you wanted some errands because i did not go in with like a lot of bronzer or blush i didn't put any blush on i just put some concealer and bronzer on and that's it i didn't even feel the need to go in and set it with anything so like i said right now i like it if my thoughts change there will be a comment pinned in the comment section if there is no comment then you know i really do like this skin tint a lot and i think you should go pick it up but if there's a comment then you definitely need to read it before you go out and purchase this if you had your eye on it even with me liking it right now at this moment do i feel like this is a skin tint you absolutely need to go buy like right now in this moment no because i'm sure we all have something that gives us a little bit of light coverage that we probably like or we probably got a skin tint that gives us a little more coverage than this this is okay if you have a skin tint that you absolutely love then you need to stick with that i don't feel like you really need to go out and buy this right away unless you just wanted to try it out like myself 
But anyway, y'all, that is it for Foundation Friday. Y'all don't forget to like, and if it's your first time watching, definitely subscribe. And if y'all have any foundations that you want me to try out for Foundation Friday, feel free to leave them below in the comment section. But that is it, y'all. Bye.